Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today you'll notice that you see my desktop. Oh, Minecraft. Sorry. This is because we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I'll be showing you the best client for Minecraft Bedrock. It's not fake client. This is... Sorry, fake. I'm not trying to be mean, but it's not you. It's Onyx client, guys. Onyx client. I'll give you a review of the client and the features, and this is not influenced by anybody. This is my true opinion on how I think about it. And then I'll show you how to get it. This will blow you away. Please don't, like, wherever you are, stay seated and not fly into outer space. Okay? Promise me you won't fly into outer space. I don't want my viewers to die. Please. Thank you. Okay, first, Windows 10 only. Again, only for Windows 10, sorry. Um, but if you click the letter L or insert on your keyboard, this pops up. And if you click module settings, I actually need to push this down. If you click module settings, there's this whole entire menu. Do you see this? Did you see how clean that was? Look at this. It slides in. It and it's separate from your escape screen. So your escape screen is regular, but if you click L, it opens up the module settings. And if he adds more, you can scroll. So let's go to the first module, zoom. This is how you do that. I can look at that door like it's nothing. And I'm over here. Did you see that? See, see where my cursor is pointing? Look where my cursor is pointing. I can see that clearly. Look where, look where that is. And, and you can scroll. Right? That's crazy. Right? And now let's review the next one. Because that's amazing. Okay, so first thing, if you have shaders on, this is useless to you. Fulbright, it was, it's actually midnight right now, in case you haven't noticed. It, it's midnight. <laughs> well, let me just clear the weather because... Also, you'll notice that there's no rain. We'll get to that in a second. There's free look, which is this. It's not allowed on a lot of servers. I know it's definitely not allowed on Hive. It's not allowed on Nether games. I don't think it's allowed on Galaxy. I'm not sure. Uh, but when you join a server, it'll tell you. If you try to press the key to go into free look, it'll say at the top, like up here, that you're not allowed to use it it'll tell you that you can't use free look and it won't let you use it, right? So that's free look. Environment changer is that, right? I can actually change this to that, see? So that's my fog color. So let me actually disable my fog color. So this is what default vanilla Minecraft sky looks like. Kind of bright, it's hurting my eyes. So let's, change the color of the fog that's the the fog is what is by your render distance why is my screen doing that what okay whatever yeah so it's that's the when your render distance reaches its end it'll start to do fog okay so it's not a sharp cut you can also change your entire sky color you can and now this is the customization menu choose your exact color that you want Exactly. There's some set colors that you can use. There's rainbow mode. You can change it darker or brighter. Rainbow speed. You want it slow. You know what I'm saying? That cool stuff. Yeah. So I'm going to turn off change entire sky color because I use a custom sky and the black fog just makes my custom. Why is it doing that? I don't know. Okay. Toggle sprint sneak. This is not allowed on other games. Um, yeah. So that's that. Basically, it allows you to, in the bottom left, sprinting is now toggled. I'm, I'm not holding control, I'm just going to click W. I'm sprinting. If I click control again, it disables. I'm going to hold W now. See? So that's that. You can also set it to always sprint, so you never stop sprinting. Like, no matter what, you'll just keep sprinting. Um, then there's... Um, toggle sneak, so you can toggle sneaking. Okay. Um, then I don't 
I don't like using that because it kind of messes me up and I'm not used to it. There's auto GG, which at the end of matches, it'll just automatically um, say GG. It doesn't work on every server right now, but uh, it works on Hive, CubeCraft, Nuff Games, and Hyperland so far. Uh, trunk borders, this is not allowed on servers because this is technically x-ray hacks. I can see that there's some coal down there. Let me go get that coal. So it's technically x-ray hacks. You can't actually use that. And there's lava over there. Yeah, so you can't use this. Um, which obviously makes sense because, like, to hack. Then there's render options. This allows you to set your exact render distance to whatever you want. So I'm going to set it to 20 because that's what I usually use. And that was the thing I was talking about earlier, how there was no rain. I turned that off. I don't want it. You can disable, if I do slash summon pig, you'll notice that there's a pig there. And then I will say, you don't deserve to exist. He's there. Somewhere. I don't know where he is, though. Where did, dude. Okay, wait. I'll, I'll prove to you that he's still there. Dude, get in the Oh my god, fine, I'll just summon. So summon pig. Right? There's a pig right there. Maybe I can make him more enclosed, please. Yes, you are not trapped. Right, so if I turn on my render options and I say I don't want to see any entities. He's still there, you heard it? See, he was there. It just disables the render. If you want to do that, you have the option to do that. There's tile entities, particles, sky, weather, HUD, I don't, which is like your cursor and stuff. Yeah, then there's um, your item in, which disables your hand. Then there's FPS. All right, so, oh, my hotbar is gone. Where did my hot bar go? Oh, there we go. Okay, I just need to refresh. Um, yeah, I was like, my hot bar? Question mark? Yeah, so I'm just gonna go back to the surface. Uh, slash time set day. I'm actually gonna turn back on my full. Wait, my full bright's on, right? Yeah. So, um, yeah, it was midnight and it was still bright. Um, so then there's the customization ones, which are everything after render options. These are things that appear on your actual screen, not modify how the game looks. So that would be keystrokes, speed, FPS, your court. I'm going to just turn all these on just to show you all of them. Yeah. So I'm going to explain these. So I'm going to click L. So this is my direction HUD. Tells me which direction I'm facing, right? So I'm facing southeast right now. I'm facing south. I'm facing exactly east. So technically, if I walk forward like this forever, I'll never go diagonal because I'm pointing exactly straight. Okay? See how my uh, position is not changing on the pixels? Well, I have view Bobby on, so it doesn't really count. Right, so then there's your FPS, which you can obviously drag around. Well, not obviously. It, it's just such a cool client. You can move stuff. Like, bruh. Right? This will display your server IP address if people want to join the server you're on. Uh, this is your CPS counter on your left click. I don't, I don't believe it works. Uh, you got to go to the settings. So I can change the width. I can change the scale of everything. Um, I'm going to set this back to my 0.9. I can change the color of the text. See how it's black now? Um, I can change... I'm going to set it back to default. I can change the color of the background to blank, like clear, which is what I like. It looks cleaner. So I'm going to... Uh, the clock shows exactly what time it is. Right now it's 6.29 where I am. Um, clock, so I'm going to turn that one off. Well, we can obviously change the 24 hours format. Seconds, but now it shows six, seven. Now you can change it to what time it is inside Minecraft. Um, you can change the scale, the background, the text color, etc. I'm going to disable that one. Keystrokes, most customizable one. 
You can turn off CPS, you can turn off mouse buttons, you can turn off space bar, you can turn off keyboard, you can turn on keyboarder, you can use the make the keyboarder use the text color, you can change the width of the keyboarder. Set it back to one. That's what I had it on. Who knows? I can set a fade. Oh, I just reset keystrokes. Oh well, okay. That's easier. Right? So I can uh, add that, that, and I can choose the animation for fade to eight. I can change the, I need to turn on border. And I need to turn this on. And I need to set the color of the text to rainbow. And then I need to change the padding to two. And I can change the size of the font. I can change the scale, all that. You can do all that. You can change all the colors. Uh, there's too much in keystrokes. Coordinates are your coordinates in game. So those are your coordinates. You can reposition it over there if you wanted to. You can do all that. Uh, you can obviously change the color and stuff. Let me disable that one. Server, I already explained that one. CPS counter. You can use the width of the keystrokes, however wide your keystrokes are. You can hide the text that says CPS. You can show the right-click CPS. So you could change it like this and this and like this. So I could put this right on top of my keystrokes. See how it matches exactly with the width? So that's how that one works. Um, direction HUD is at the top. You can change the background color to clear. You can change the color. You can change the fading. See how it fades a little bit? There's like a fading effect. If you don't want the fade, you just turn that off. If you want it on, I think it was at 10. No, I don't know. I'll just reset it. Direction HUD reset. Is at 20? Yeah. So it goes nicely like that. And see how it like pops in? It's just so clean. Um, then you can change the scale, the width, and the range that you can see. Right? So let's disable. Let me just reset this one and disable it. You can right click them to enable them. Quick enable. Um, speed counter is same thing. Flappy Bird are the games. You can change what your jump key is and you can pause. So let's say I want to jump in Flappy Bird. This is 4K mode, by the way. So if it's causing FPS problems, then you just turn down the... Uh, see, and you can turn on autoplay, so it just auto does it. All right, so I can play Flappy Bird. And I can pause by holding the P key. Then I can continue. Pause. Continue. Pause. Now I'm going to play Snake. And this is especially useful because, uh, like, um, my brain sucks. Like, it's kind of fun to do while you're waiting for the game to start. And it's just a cool addition. The fact that you can play a game in Minecraft while waiting, like, that, that's kind of cool. No, not kind of cool. It's very cool. Right? So I'm actually going to disable those. So those are all the things. Now, if you click L, click module settings, but don't click any modules, it shows you the click GUI settings, which is the L key, right? So I don't want Mojang this font on. Notice how it changes the font of the entire client. It's now smooth font. I like my Mojang this font. It looks better. Um, then there's disable module snapping, which clicks them together. Turn this on and it, oh, my mouse button, double click. Yeah, so you can see the names as keystrokes, as speed counter, the FPS. I don't like that on. There's compact chat. So I don't know if it works for... Um... See, I'm, I'm spamming G, but nothing's happening. If I go into T, it says this this message was sent 11 times. So this is really useful in, like, um, you know, nether games or, like, servers that say when you, when you... Like, let's say I can't on a server. I'm not allowed to break this block. Right? Why am I not in full screen? Wait, I'm in full screen. Yeah. Let's say I try to break this block, and it's like, you can't break this block. You can't break this block. You can't break this block. It doesn't spam your chat. It makes it compact. So it says, it said the, you can't break this block 10 times. So it doesn't flood your chat. And it doesn't flood it in the uh, left either. It doesn't flood it over here when it's like, uh, 
it's like people are sending messages. It doesn't flood it up there either. So that's really cool. Um, my brain stopped working again. Yeah, then there's show pause screen button, which I have off. If you click escape, there's an open settings button, which you can do the module settings from there. But I don't use that. Um, then there's lazy GUI redraw. So if I click this once, you'll notice chat hot bars above this. When it, if it's not, you click it until it is, and then click it once, twice, and it sh it'll increase FPS for the client UI, right? Which is this, this UI. It'll increase FPS for that. Um, so that's pretty much the client, and it took me like 10 minutes to review the entire client. There are that many features. That's insane. Okay, now I'm going to teach you how to get it. All right, first thing you want to do is go to the description. And this is the only way you can get it. You got to go to the description. Go to, um, um, you got to join the Discord server. Has 44 boosts already. Wow. Okay, that's, that's insane. See, that's how cool this client is, right? You, first thing is when you join the Discord server, do not pester Onyx about bugs, okay? Create a ticket and ask about it. You won't see these um, things. It's because I'm a helper. So you won't actually see those, right? So what you want to do is you want to read the rules. Make sure to follow those. Seriously, don't be an idiot, okay? Go to download, read downloads. You don't need to go up here, right? You want to go to how to disable Windows Defender. If Don't ask someone, how do I disable Windows Defender? Th there's a channel for that. Go to it. There's a reason that's there because so many people ask it. Then read announcements. Announcement is where you'll see the updates for the client. Is the client paused for a bit? Are they updating it? Whatever, right? These are all the updates. Make sure to check that every once in a while, right? And then this is general, all those channels, right? So this is how you get it. Make sure you read those first, okay? Very important. Okay, first thing you're going to do is going to create a new folder. Call this Onyx client, and let's put it there. Let's open it. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to create this folder. You're going to go back to the Discord. You're going to download this to Onyx client onyxinjector.exe. There it is. Wait a few seconds, the icon will load. It's a really nice icon. Right, and then for the next thing you're gonna do is you're going to open it. Oh wait, it's still installing. There we go. When the icon pops up, that means it's finished installing. Right, so first thing I suggest you doing is you can either create a shortcut, which is what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm just gonna do that. Um, delete that, and we're gonna. I'm starting from fresh, so I'm doing this over again. Onyx. In, wait, Onyx Client. That's what I'm going to call it. You can name this whatever you want. Drag this to my desktop. Let's just put it in the center because it's very important. And then you're just going to X this off and open this. We can move this folder later. This is what the launcher looks like so far. They're probably, they might, I think they're working on a new launcher right now as we speak. Um, but currently, this is what we have. So... I am running 201. I'm going to click Launch Minecraft, or Launch Minecraft for me. And I'm going to choose my version. It'll automatically download the DLLs. So don't ask me where the DLLs. Okay? Just click on 1.16.201 and click Inject. Injected. I can close this. Honest Client is now injected. Boom. Done. Now, if you do have errors, you can either contact me in the comments or create a ticket in the Discord server, and the staff will try to respond to you as fast as possible. Um, but a quick solution, I'm going to say in this video so you don't, they don't get bothered too much, is if, you're, if you go into the client and you can't click on module settings, like if you click L and you click module settings, nothing happens, make sure you don't have fake client injected. Make sure it's not injected or it won't work. Um, also, if it's your first time using it, make sure Zoom is not locked. Because sometimes um, when you zoom in and then you enter like the inventory or you click escape, it'll lock Zoom. OK, 
Okay, so make sure to unlock it by clicking the hotkey again, and which is default to C, so it'll reset it for you. Okay, and then you can click it. Uh, right, so another quick fix is if it's showing errors, you can go to your C drive, which is located this PC, double click on C drive, delete this temp folder. This temp folder doesn't have anything else in it. This is just for Onyx client. So you can just delete this whole entire folder, which has all the DLLs and stuff in it. It'll re-download. So I'm going to delete the temp folder. Well, it's because Minecraft is open, it's running. Um, so you can just delete them through there. That should fix it. Um, and if you want, which I'm going to do right now, I'm going to create a new folder in my documents. And it's going to be called clients. Can't spell. Clients. Then I'm going to drag Onyx client into that clients folder. So I have everything nice and neat. I'm going to close this. I have my Onyx client here. Boom. Um, it's up to you which way you want to run it. If you want, you can type in Minecraft. And while it's loading, double click the Onyx injector and open it like that. And when Minecraft loads, then inject it like that. It's up to you. Um, if you don't want to use Honest Client, but you want to use their launcher, just click Custom DLL and select the DLL what you want to use. I don't know why you use any other client unless you're using a hack client. Don't use hack clients. They suck. They're... Don't. That, that's all I can say. Just don't. Right? Once it's injected, you can close. And there you go. Um, I'm going to turn on my global resource. I'm going to turn on my pack. It'll load. There we go. And that's pretty much it. Keep um your keep up to date in the server. Uh, they'll always announce what's going on in the server. They'll announce new downloads here if the Onyx injector itself gets updated or they release the new launcher or whatever. Then there's rules. Please, please, I'm going to say this, it's that important. People just don't read the rules. Read them. They're not that long. Just read them, right? They're very easy to skim. Um, read this because, and if you have a different um, um, virus protection, make sure to look up a video on how to deposit or exclude files, right? But I think they fixed that problem in the announcement. They said that... Windows Defender shouldn't say inject as a virus now, so it should be fixed. If it's not, then that's fine, um, but make sure to keep up to date in the Discord, right? So that's it for this video. Um, I do hope you all enjoyed. Um, make sure to subscribe to Dreaming40 and check out the rest of my videos. Bye.